Hi everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to be talking about arc parser. What is arc parser? So arc parser is very important. Uh, you have always uh, seen while somebody is hacking, they usually use terminal, right? They supply uh, commands and paths in the terminal. So think arc parser, arc parser something uh, similar to that. It will pass all the arguments through terminal. So let's uh, have a small demo. Uh, let me show you a small demo of arc parser. So let's take a small example. I'm going to import map. All right. Oops, import map. All right, then we got to do import arc parser i'm using intellij right now or uh, you can use anything so let's define a circle area of circle all right it's going to take an argument known as radius and i'm going to say return uh, it's going to return the area right so it's pi r square so pi radius Great. So if I say if I'm gonna say so if I run this real quick, so if I right click run, sure enough, I got the area. But this is not the best option. Usually in the industries, people use arc parser to do that. So now let me show you a very great method to do the same thing, but uh, but in a better way. So we are going to use arc parser. So first of all, we're going to need to define a uh, parser. Uh, so that's going to be arc parse dot argument parser, right? We create an object and inside that it's going to take description so give the description what it's gonna do so this function what it does is let's say calculate excuse me all right so we defined a description to that now what we need to do is we need to add an argument so i'm gonna say parser the object just we created dot add arguments now we need to add an argument so you can supply so that means if i want to supply radius through terminal so how am i going to say so i can say i can do slash r and i can supply space i can supply a argument so you will see that in a while so give me a while to just give me Time to uh, write this code here. All right, so we define radius. Now what else? So we need to define a type as well. What kind of type of data is this? So I'm gonna say it's gonna be types gonna be integer. Then after that we have something known as a required. I'm gonna say true. That means this uh, argument is required by default you have to enter this All right so after that what we can do is after required we can add an argument known as help so basically whenever a user press help like uh, your uh, name of the file python slash name of the file slash dash dash help so it will basically give the all the details about the our pi code so here i'm gonna say Right, so I'm gonna say area of circle. That's it. Now we need to uh, define our args. That is nothing but argument. So we're gonna say parser dot parse args. All right, that's it. Now let me show you a small piece of demo. So instead of passing four, now I'm gonna say args dot radius because I said radius up. Right, so pretty easy. Now let's try to run this. So now I'm going to run this in the terminal. So open. Oops, my bad. So I'm going to say open in terminal. Right, once we have the terminal, we can do an ls. We can see the file. So Python. 
learn.py so let's see if we hand up what we does it says the following arguments is required that is radius so here you can see that's why we said required equals to true so let's try once again now if i say radius equals to true sure enough we got the area so we what we did is basically we, we specified the radius uh to the function to terminal so that's like we are passing the arguments we are passing anything data right so that's nothing but arguments so that's how you can do that now let's try to refine this a little bit now after doing this i'm going to show you uh, about a mutually exclusive group so let's try to create one so there are two type of uh, mutually exclusive group that is a variables and the and the quiet so first of all we need to define the group which is going to be parser so it's going to be parser dot add arguments uh basically it's going to be add underscore group mutually exclusive groups all right so just gonna give some space here so once that is done we can say group dot add arguments and uh, we can specify the quiet mode i'm just gonna show you what does it mean quiet mode or say quiet after that i'm gonna say action i'm gonna say store equals to true store underscore true and at the list i'm gonna say help i'm gonna say All right, so that's done. Now let us see an example of that as well. So if I say Python's, if I don't specify the argument, it says that is required. So we have taken care of that. So somebody has to specify the argument. All right. So now what we can do basically is we need to write some code here. So we're gonna define the variable in the quiet, right? So let's say area equals to i'm gonna call the function area of circle and um, i'm gonna say args radius all right now let's define the quiet and variables so if args so we say if args dot quiet so if args is quiet print So we're gonna print the area right else because we saved this in an area right so if it is not variables sorry if it is not quite then it is variables right else if so we're gonna say args dot variables So what is the difference between the variables and quiet quiet basically will print just the value while the variables will print all other information like the volume of cylinder is so and so or what the volume of circle is so and so basically it has additional stuff so uh let's say so this is nothing but my variables and i'm gonna say area now by default if user does not select anything that means he has to do some we have to do something right sorry if i got the colon so i'm gonna say print area circle oops All right, so we are done. So now in order to run this, we can say python learn.py, the name of the file, r space two slash slash q u i e t. So here you can see when I say quiet, it just prints a value. Now, but if I say variables, it will print print basically. Did I make a spelling mistake? 
unrecognized argument very bows interesting i'm sure i made a spelling mistake i always do that i'm kind of sleepy right now oh yeah we did not define the very bows so just going to define that sorry for that i'm a little sleepy right now i think i need to sleep very bows and uh, now let's try it once again so now i'm going to show you all the options so here you can see very bows it's going to make very bows sorry for that so now if i run the very bows it will print the the area of the circle is 12.56 but if i run quiet it will just print the value and or else if i just don't pass anything it will print the last statement or else in the last thing if i don't pass the radius it says radius required and i cannot say help so it will tell me all the options that it have like all the stuff that is like the radius the quiet the variables and the help so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it so arc pass is really very important whenever you are working in an industry so make sure to try this out type the code and if you have still have some questions please leave your questions in the comment section below and i shall see you in the next video but i need to get to sleep right now so that's it for this video see you guys in the next video thank you so much